And me, I love matcha, I adore matcha. Bonjour à tous, welcome to Petite Spatule. In this channel, I talk about anything pastry related. The other day, I was craving for some good old bubble milk tea, taro milk tea to be specific. And to be honest, here in Paris, there are several bubble milk tea shops. And so I did a quick research and read that Shodai Matcha serves a really good taro milk tea. So that's where I'm taking you today. Shodai Matcha is located in the third arrondissement here in Paris. And if you are taking the metro, you will be getting off at Art et Métier station on Metro Line 3. Originally, when I arrived at Shodai Matcha, I was just going there for the taro milk tea. But when I got there, I saw that they have an extensive menu of matcha-based desserts. And me, I love matcha. I adore matcha. It's that flavor. Either you like it or you don't. How about you guys? Do you like matcha flavor? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, um, when I saw the menu, the first dessert that really popped out that I really wanted to try was the matcha meal crepe. However, that was sold out already, so I had to go for my second choice, which was the matcha crepe roll. The matcha crepe roll was nice and light, although the matcha flavor was really faint, almost non-existent to be honest. The ratio of cream to matcha crepe was not proportional. The amount of cream definitely overpowered the matcha flavor from the crepe. The crepe had a nice texture. If you had the crepe alone, that's when you taste the hint of matcha. The Chantilly cream was nicely whipped a little on the sweet side for me. I definitely liked the addition of the red beans. Though it was not the matcha punch I was hoping for, it was still a satisfying dessert. The portion size was big as well. It's good for two people, I think. The taro bubble tea was delicious as well. Great milk tea flavor. They used a fresh taro puree, which is a treat since usually when you have a taro milk tea, it's made out of taro powder. Although don't expect the taste to be the same. This one has a lighter but real authentic taro flavor. So if you are looking for that taro powder flavor, then this might not be for you. If I were around the area again, I would definitely go back to have another bubble milk tea fix. I would probably order a matcha-based drink this time around since it is a matcha-specialized restaurant. And as for the dessert, I would definitely choose something that has a high um, ratio of matcha elements so that I will get that matcha Kick. Anyway, I will leave you guys right here. Thank you for watching this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you again next week for another pastry related video. A la prochaine. Till the next one. Take care, guys.